hey guys i'm here again with another tutorial and this time uh this time around i'll be showing us how to um cut a milkmaid bustier blouse okay so very simple very easy and very straightforward thing i drew from the chest line i took my line here which is for the yoke okay so this part represents um the yoke now i haven't drafted this um um pattern i need to do some tightening okay i need to do some contouring and i'm so i'm going to contour the under bust region this is the under bust this is the bust line this is the under bust this is the waist line okay um so i haven't drafted this and taking my darts i'm going to um contour the under bust okay so to do the contouring of my under bust, I need to um, get the difference between my bust circumference and the waist circumference, okay? So the difference is what I'm going to use to contour this part, okay? That's what I'll use to contour this part. So, like I have already measured it out, so I'll just take the difference, okay? Whatever the difference is. Um, if it is one inch, if it is 1.5 inches, if it is one three quarter of an inch, so you just share it between this part and this part, okay? So you share between this part and this part. So I, for this one, I want to add more proportion to this part compared to this part because of the darts, okay? You have to be mindful of the darts leg. So I'm just going to put half inch here. And I'm going to put one inch here so I haven't done it that way so the next thing is I'll just take my curve ruler and connect it from this point I'm going to connect it up here okay Like so so I haven't done that I will also come to this part and do the same just like this okay so I haven't contoured the under posts so next thing to do is I'm going to take from this part and from this part, I'm going to connect it to the dart leg. It must touch the dart leg, okay? You don't have to take it straight down like this. You make sure this part touches with the dart leg. This is what contouring is all about. So I haven't done it that way. I'll come here to, I'll do the same thing. So I'm done contouring the underbust, so it's perfect now. So the next thing I want to do is I want to contour the overbust, okay? So this part is the overbust, that's where your chest line is. So I'll just draw my straight line, match with the chest line, okay? So having done that, next thing, from this point, I'm going to tighten this part, okay? So that's um, what's... Um, I meant by contouring. I, I'm going to tighten this part because um, anything yoke, um, sorry, anything um, tube, anything like tube, corsets, all that, you need to tighten this part or else you will notice um, some gaping around here, okay? And I'm sure you wouldn't want that. So I'll just quickly take my tape roll and So I'll just take my ruler and connect it to this line here. Then the same thing I'm going to do here too. Okay. So I'm done 
contouring the over bust so now i haven't done this the next thing i'm going to do is whatever that you know i usually say it in my tutorials when you take that it is mandatory i repeat it is mandatory to return the dart you have taken okay um i already imputed the dart measurement into the waistline that's why i have this now for this i have not imputed the dart um allowance okay so now for this dart i have taken here all i need to do is just to transfer this dart to the other side okay that's towards the armhole otherwise if i cut this dart out without replacing the dart on this armhole region by the time you by the time i remove the dart leg or the dart and i join this piece together you will notice that there will be shortage of fabric around the armhole region and that's what causes um, you see some um, fashion designers after sewing a particular outfit you look towards the armhole region this side you just notice that there's gaping there's so much space it's showing part of their bust around this region and it is not appropriate okay so in order to fix that error the best strategy is to transfer this that this that you have taken here you have to replace it here so by doing so all i need to do is just measure the amount of that you have taken here and simply transfer back okay so stops here so what do i do take my ruler and extend the armhole okay so now there will be an extension on the armhole region so i haven't extended the armhole you just need to take your curve and connect it to this part like this okay so now i'm done contouring um the right um places okay so i haven't done this um so the next thing i will do is from this center um from the bust line you know this is the bust line okay now from this center front of the bust line all i need to do is i will come down i will come down by one inch you can take three quarter of an inch here okay you can take three quarter of an inch i'll come down by three quarter of an inch and i'll take my curve ruler and i'm going to connect from this three quarter of an inch i'm going to connect it to the dart leg here okay at this underbust region this underbust i'm going to connect it like this okay so i haven't done this next thing i'll do from this point okay from this point i'll just take my one inch from this point and i'll connect it directly to meet with this point okay so once i take it i'll just draw my straight line i'm going somewhere with all of this like this okay so have you seen it like so so the next thing I'll do, I'll jump over to this part, okay? I'm going somewhere with all this. So I'll jump over to this part. So what do I do? The same thing I have taken here, okay? Just come here. Take the same thing. It has to align with this, okay? It has to align. So you can see so i haven't done it this way next thing i need to do is just to cut it out then after cutting it out i will apply my slash and spray method make sure you cut from the new arm hole not the old arm hole okay
so now i'm done cutting it okay so what i'm going to do next is this part i need to cut it out so i'll further cut this part out like so also this part i will also cut it out like so I'm sure you'll be wondering what's all this okay so this is it so this is what i have this will be here and this will be here okay then this will be here and this will be here and this will be here so what i need to do next is i'm going to um i'm going to join the um, pieces together okay so to join this together so in the you know i've already removed the dots okay and i've also removed the dots here so i'm going to join these three pieces together then these three i'm going to join them together then after that i'll show us the next thing to do so this is what i have after joining it together okay you know this is pattern so i have to use um, masking tape to do that so after doing this, this is the um, first year part of it. This is the yoke and this is the down part, okay? So this, it will be like this, something like this. So when I place the yoke, like so. It will be something like this. Then this side sew it like this are you seeing you know this is paper so that's why it's like this okay so it will be something like this so the next thing to do is i'm going to keep these two aside these two the yoke and the down part i'll just keep it aside so next thing is i'll take this and spread it i'm going to take a long piece of um, fabric but here i'm using pattern paper okay So what do I do? I'll take this and I'll start slashing, okay? So it all depends on how um, how gathered you want the upper part to be, the bustier part, okay? So you start slashing it. You can slash it by half inch you can slash by one inch 